If you want to teach a child the conviction to be a good person, then you must be a good, proper, and virtuous role model as an adult. As a rule, only the unpleasant consequences of untruthfulness lead the human being to sincerity and the truth. What the human being must become aware of already at a young age is that what one has lived and what is the past can never be changed later in life. Therefore, nothing can ever be made up for in life if the particular opportunity and time have been missed. A lot of people claim to know a lot or everything, but no one knows themselves. It may be the hardest thing in the human being's life to muster the patience as well as sincere criticism and self-assessment, to recognize and remedy all his weaknesses, and to make self-honesty and modesty his inner and outer virtues. Love for children requires love for the mother. Every human being carries something good within himself, both the good and the bad. Therefore, regardless of his character and behavior, every human being must be treated as a human being, since this is the right of both the good and the wicked. As a human being, one must act in this regard like the sun, which, despite all the good and evil things among human beings on earth, shines equally and without distinction on everyone. In all of life, there is never a fixed path without a goal. Therefore, there is never a goal without a fixed path. Life is a very tiny moment. You open your eyes and close them. Therefore, it is important at this very moment to capture everything that you can comprehend. The human being evolves during his entire life for his life, in which all moments intersect again and again and constantly merge into something new and into a whole. All teaching, all expertise, all experiences, and all wisdom originate in life and in the progress of consciousness. However, all education is based on templates and originates from schools. One should also explain to the child everything that he is able to grasp intellectually. This, however, is usually more than the adult who often lacks understanding and is arrogant towards the child wants to grant him. No one ever has the right to interfere with another human being's opinion simply because one has a different opinion. Children become adults and adults grow old. However, those who deliberately cultivate their thoughts and feelings in a progressive and consciously active way throughout childhood, adulthood, and in old age, remain truly young throughout their lives. Those who, through all their lives, behave as Philistines will become weak and decay in old age. Constantly preparing for what is to come in life is a task that must be one's responsibility and one that must never be neglected. The human being has eyes to be able to observingly and perceptively look around and recognize life in its diversity. If one sees something somewhere that is not just, one must strive to fix and make it just. And if one sees something that has difficulty with life, then one should strive to give it vitality. If one does not act accordingly, then one makes oneself inexcusable in behavior. Therefore, one must see with one's eyes what is going on in the world, in order then to act consciously and responsibly in the right way 
and to satisfy life in fulfilling obligations. Among the important experiences in life are also those in which all kinds of suffering must be endured and overcome. If a person is filled with love for himself and his fellow human beings, as well as for all living beings existing on earth and in the universe, then he carries heaven within himself. There is hardly a human being who does not encounter contradiction when he has his own opinion and walks his own path. But those who do not have an opinion of their own and do not walk their own path are only slavish followers of the opinions and paths of others, and a template for those who can assert themselves with their opinion and their ways and disregard others. Therefore, every human being should dare and strive for to have his own opinion and walk his own path. However, those who do not dare to do so inhibit their own progress, will never win and will be eternal losers. As the old classic proverb says, the world belongs to the brave. Therefore, you must have your own opinion and walk your own path. All that shackles consciousness is the calamity of oppressive ignorance. The human being is not only a mirror for his fellow human beings, but first and foremost, a mirror for himself.